I wish I didn't have this story to share, but it's happened more than one time in my practice, and is that somebody has to come to me and they're forced to sell investments before they want to in order to pay for some kind of emergency. So I often ask the question, or I am asked the question, can you invest without an emergency fund? And what I would tell you is no. Certainly you could put money into investments, but it's not an investment if you are going to use that as your emergency fund. Because when you're forced to sell, you're no longer in control of the timing on your investments. An external thing is controlling it. So what do we say? Start with adequate reserves so that you don't have to take money from your investment strategy and blow it up. That means you better have an emergency fund. The question is how much? Now experts will tell you three to six months, but that's a wide range and it varies depending on your circumstance. So what our offer is, if you will check the calendar link below, we offer a free consultation with somebody on our team. You can speak to a financial professional and we can learn more about your personal circumstances and get you an actual number. What is an appropriate emergency fund for your circumstance? It's personal based on what's going on in your life. So when somebody says three to six months, well, okay, if it's easy, pick the high number. But if you really like to get a little bit more dialed in on it, that's what we're here for. So click the link below, schedule a free appointment. And again, no obligations, anything like that. We just wanna get you pointed in the right direction. So until next time, this has been David Littlejohn. Thanks for joining us.